Bobby Rydell on his Grease Rydell High connection. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Grease was one of the biggest musicals of all time. We were introduced to John Travolta's greaser Danny Zuko as he falls in love with his Australian goody two-shoes girlfriend, Sandy, played by Olivia Newton-John. There's been a lot of talk about a certain high school where most of the film takes place, Rydell High, which in real life was Huntington Park High School in LA. All signs point towards the fact that this was probably a tip of the hat to Bobby Rydell. I think right. it's an accident that um, in Greece they called the high school Rydell High? Yeah, yeah, everybody asked me that, John, and I said, I haven't a clue. It could have been Fabian High, uh, Presley High, Everly High, Anka High, you know. Uh, uh, they pick me, you know, they pick Rydell, Rydell High, you know, and, you know, what an honor, you know, it's fantastic, one of, one of the greatest, you know, a great movie, you know, it's it, it's 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 like Bye Bye Birdie, it's a classic. It's I was 18 classic. years old at the time, and, and you know what, when I heard that high school name, even at an 18-year-old, I knew you then, I was, you were the first guy I thought of, and I'm going, that's not an accident, come on. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know if it was an accident or I don't know why. Bobby Rydell didn't fall into the trappings of drug and alcohol when he was young. That happened when his first wife, Camille, was diagnosed with cancer. He was in his 50s and he started drinking a lot, which he's very honest about in his book. That led him needing a kidney and liver transplant. And for the longest time, it didn't look good till a young lady named Julia lost her life. I asked Bobby Rydell if he ever wonders sometimes how he's still around. Yeah, I do. I, I really wonder why, because I was two weeks away from death, and the only reason that I'm here is because of Julia, who was, you know, my angel, and not only did she save my life, but she saved six other people as well, and when I'm on stage, I, you know, I talk about, you know, how important it is to become an organ donor. Uh, because it really is the gift of life. I mean, if it wasn't for Julia, who was only 20 years old, 20, 21 years old at the time, lost her life, she saved my life and six other people as well. So, you know, organ transplantation is so wonderful. I impress upon the people how important it is the next time they apply for their driver's license. Being a teen idol in the late 50s, early 60s meant that if you had a girlfriend, you couldn't tell anyone about it. It had to be kept under wraps. And when Bobby Rydell was huge, he had Camille, his girlfriend of many years. But he had to keep her secret. He'd eventually marry her, as we mentioned earlier in this video. But it was tough. When I was reading about Camille, and you were so incredibly respectful, and and you, you let us in on, on your first wife, Camille. You showed, first of all, to me, I was seeing constraint. I'm going... First of all, Camille seemed like she was comfortable in their skin, being in the background because the manager, the management, and the record company they they didn't. You're a teen idol. They, I, I know the rules. Everyone, even today, knows those rules. They don't want to see you in a relationship. Was that difficult, or did did it just seem to work with Camille before you got married? Well, I'm sure it was difficult for you know my first wife, Camille, God rest her soul, but. Uh, you know, when she would be with me, it would either be, well, here, here's my cousin, here's a friend of the family, and she was always in the background, you know. And, um, you know, she was the one who actually, you know, raised the kids, you know, our two kids, Robert and Jennifer, because I was on the road, you know, you know, paying for the groceries. Uh, but, you know, when I was home, you know, I always spent quality time, you know, with my wife and, and my two children. Uh, and I, I really miss her dearly. You know, we we would we, we were married 35 years, and she passed away when she was just about 60 years old uh, in the year 2003. And when she passed, uh, that's what led me to alcohol, uh, because there was nobody to talk to, nobody to laugh with, nobody to cry with, nobody to have love with. You know, and uh, I, I missed her so so much. And then I became very, very, you know, uh, dependent about uh, with vodka, and you know, vodka almost killed me. But uh, I, I can't say enough about Camille. I mean, we, as they say, kept company. I was 15 years old; she was 15 years old, and we were together for 10 years, you know, as boyfriend and girlfriend uh, before we got married in, in 1968, and. Um, you know, it was just uh, a, a wonderful relationship. 
she she had one of the greatest smiles that I've ever seen on anybody. And I used to have a conductor by the name of Rocky Valentine. And Rocky always called Camille Smiley. How you doing, the Smiley? How is Smiley? Because that's the kind of person she was. She never had a bad word to say about anybody. And anybody who knew my wife, my first wife, fell in love with her. She was that, you know, that great of a person. Teen Idol on the Rocks, A Tale of Second Chances is Bobby Rydell's book. More information at BobbyRydell.com. Remember, we'll have more of this series on our sister channels, Rock History Canada and Nailsheet.com. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.